Yo, 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 what is up everybody on the reel here, Plain Township. And today I'm going to be talking about the new event that we have right now. Just started, uh, I think this morning or last night, midnight. It's the Tropical Blends event. All right, you guys, this event is one of the easier ones in my opinion. If you guys have ever played Fruit Ninja, it's kind of like that. So let's get into it. First off, you have your garden over here, which is like a separate garden than your farm, right? And over here you can grow, you start out with some seeds and you can grow the seeds of uh, for the fruit. So you got mango, you have um, dragon fruit, and you have pepino. So then you grow these fruits and then when you get the fruits, you are able to play in the event. So once you hit the first uh, goal, you can start in the competition let's let's just start here then so we have the competition and first place gets this cute avatar thing of this little pig that has like a pineapple suit on or a costume it's super cute you get 50 robux and then you get one epic deck and if you come in second or third you get the avatar 30 robux and one epic deck and then th it goes down into tiers so then the third place tier would be two of these nails and a i believe this is a rare deck yes rare deck and you got the sharpshooters, you get two hammers, and then you get this one, which is a common or regular deck. Then you have Sandra's crew, which you just get, you just get coins. And uh, once again, you have this where the reward is only 500 coins, which is, that's where I'm at right now, but I haven't really been playing, so that's okay. We also have personal goals. So reward one, you get three town bucks, and that's what allows you also to start in the event. You have reward two, you have three, which this one you get the lab booster, which is the favorable voyage one. I already have one of those and it's like, I don't really use those right now, but it's okay. I can use the hammers though. You got reward four and then reward five, which you get this really cool decoration that you can put in your town or in your zoo. You get this avatar, which is a little bee drinking a smoothie and 12 town cash or town bucks. So let's start, I'll show you how this is, so yeah. This is just like Fruit Ninja in a way. You have the knife here. You get three chances to miss. So you have to fill the smoothie up uh, five times. So you cut the fruit and then it goes into the smoothie. So once I get all the fruit cut, it fills up that smoothie and then that counts as one cup. And you gotta do this four more times. All right. So some tips for this is I like to aim like when it has this triangle type thing i like to aim at the very tip right here like that so i can get as many as i can and then i don't i wait for it to come cl the closest that it can come to my knife before i tap the screen again because if it's farther away it's harder to gauge where the knife is going to go so here's this one so they all have a different kind of way that they move so some of them can be kind of tricky so you got to kind of watch out and the further you go the harder they get so now we're on the fourth one so this one's going to be a little more weird the way it moves see how it just stops suddenly. So I kind of like, because everything has a pattern. So I kind of, oh, see, I just missed. But look, I got two more chances now. So everything has a pattern. So I kind of just want to figure out what the pattern is and then go from there. And you know, don't get impatient. You got to be patient. Wait for the fruit to come to you. Because if you try to get it from far away, you can miss. All right, here we go. This one is more easier too, because it's like two lines and you can, you can get all of them at once if you like, time it correctly but this one I like to get it while it's moving like that see so I can get as much as I can there we go the last one and that's that and then if you get them all done you get a times two bonus that gets added to my score and the smoothies get added to the competition board so I just moved up woohoo so I can go again and each time, each, I guess, level or whatever, it requires different fruit. So sometimes you might get to the point where, oh my gosh, I need mango and I'm filling these helicopter orders. I'm not getting any mangoes because, you know, it doesn't tell you, it just says you're going to get seeds. It doesn't tell you what seeds you're going to get. But th with this also, this is how you get the seeds, obviously, to grow in the garden. But as you see, not every order gives you seeds. So I like to just dump these because... If I don't, it confuses me and then I'll fill an order and won't get seeds and I'll be like, what? Why did I do that? So I'll just wait until the ones I get are all like this. They have that little seed at the bottom under the picture. And then I'll just start 
trying to get what they need. I also activated my booster that's helicopter times two. I earned twice as many coins because I'm going to need to fill a lot of helicopter orders anyway for this event. So I figured why not? I had it for, I had an extra one anyway, so I didn't have to pay gems to do that. And then I also did my active cooperation one only because I'm also in the regatta right now. So it's harder. I'm like, you know, spreading myself kind of thin with uh, items. So that way if I need anything, I can just request it from my co-op. And that's basically this event. The way um, to fill the orders also, there's like some temporary event goods. So one of the things that you we have are, here we go, this Hawaiian shirt, which takes three of the cotton fibers. You also have the uh, strawberry ice cream, which is one cream, two strawberries, and one syrup. We have the spatula, which is two of these things, plastics, two plastics. And then you have this uh, cookbook, which is two papers. That's that event. Those are my tips. Oh, we also have decorations that we got, new decorations. So let's see. If you click on the, there's a little smoothie tab on the top. You can see all the decorations for the event, which all cost town cash. However, if you don't make it to the final goal, you have this vacation. Oops. I don't want to buy that. No, no, no. But you have the vacation decoration that you can purchase if you really want it. So right now for me, though, this jet pack, attra pack attraction is actually looking really cool. I literally just went to SeaWorld the other day and they had a show where the guy was like kind of like this. It was like um, it wasn't a jet pack, though, but it was like it looked like he's on a skateboard, though, like a jet, like a mini jet ski. I don't know. It looked really cool, though. And he was like doing flips and stuff. It was really cool. So that, that's what that reminds me of. So I kind of want that. I think that would be cool for my town. So I'm going to probably get that eventually. I got to find some space to put that in, obviously. But when I do, I will probably... Maybe I can do that right here with my little fashion house. I don't know. We'll see. That might be cool. I started organizing my houses. I don't know. It still looks weird a little bit. I just got to unlock some more land over here. Maybe spread it out some more. And then right here, I was supposed to do this movie lot. But I really don't have anything I could put there. So I'm still kind of stuck on that as well. But other than that, you know, I think I'm doing okay. I'm working on this cake, which is like a pain in my butt, but whatever. And yeah, then I'm also doing the regatta. So it's the last week for the music voyage. And then we'll have the interseasonal one for another week. And then we'll get a new regatta season. So I'm excited for that. And that's basically it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate all your support. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.